So what are the habits that made me a millionaire? We're gonna discuss them right now on this episode of the Unlock Success Podcast. This is the Unlock Success Podcast. We're helping entrepreneurs around the world dive deep into the keys you need to shatter excuses, believe in yourself, and help you achieve your highest goals. Here's your host, eight-figure entrepreneur and the living legend of internet marketing, Anthony Morrison. Hey, hey, what's up? Anthony Morrison here, and welcome to another episode here of the Unlock Success Podcast, where my goal is each and every time I put out an episode of the podcast, is just to help you unlock some inner potential, the potential to do better in business, the potential to maybe be better in your relationships, to live a better and more fulfilling life. And so if this is your first time joining us here on the podcast, I sure hope you'll make it uh, an every Thursday thing uh, that you uh, that you tune into. And uh, of course, if you've been listening to the podcast here for, gosh, I don't know, maybe two years now since we've been doing this, um, then I appreciate you coming back and uh, continuing to listen and to learn. And today on the podcast, what we're going to talk about <clears throat> is the actual habits that made me a millionaire. You know, a lot of people ask me, how did you make a million dollars? And usually my answer is, well, I marketed credit cards. <laughs> you know, like I tell them the exact thing, like here's the thing that made me a millionaire, right? It was that I figured out how to advertise online. I utilized affiliate marketing. I put those two together. I made a million dollars. There's my answer. But I think it goes a lot deeper than that. It was a, a lot of it was about my habits and, and the things that I did every single day to have the success that I really had. It's not enough just to know what you need to do to be successful. You have to also be able and capable of doing what you need to do to be successful. And that's where, I think that's where so many people fall short. Um, I, you know, as you guys know, I have millions of students all around the world and we have different levels of success. We have some people that will, will exceed at a really high level. We have some people that, you know, kind of a much, a much lower level, some people that don't succeed at all. And when I look at the difference in, in these people, I notice it's, it's their habits, right? The actual habits that they, that they have that are the, are the biggest, I think the biggest differentiator, right? So let me give you some examples. You want to make a million dollars. You want to be successful. You want to grow. Whether you have uh, a nine to five job right now and you're looking to add more revenue by starting your own business, right? or whether you have your own business right now and it's just not making a million dollars. There's a path to that million dollars, right? There's a path. If you have a job right now and you're working for some, somewhere where you're kind of capped, the path to a million dollars is different for you than it is for the person that's an entrepreneur that has their own business, right? If you've got a small business, we'll just pick something. We're opening a coffee shop here pretty soon and I've been thinking a lot about this and, and just, the scalability and, and how it works. Like we're opening a coffee shop here. I project that that coffee shop, if it was just, I mean, if it was just, just the, I mean, humming, right? Like, like peak, just peak performance. It might make us 60,000, 70,000 a year. So if that's you, if you're in a business like that, you own a business, you're an entrepreneur, but you're making 60 or $70,000 a year and you want to make a million, right? Your path is completely different than the person that's got a nine to five job, right? Or than the person that runs a business that's doing a little more revenue, right? A little bigger business, bigger potential. It's all about, I think, identifying the path. What does it take? For this coffee shop, it's gonna take multiple locations, right? You're not gonna make a million dollars off one. So it's gonna take multiple locations, a lot of locations. For the person that's in a nine to five, it's gonna take finding the right opportunity to start a business that allows you to start that business while you still maintain your job, right? So that you can take that job income and turn it into investment income, right? You're investing it into that business startup so that you can grow. Once you identify that, it's all about the habits you put in place on a daily basis. Number one thing that I do, <clears throat> best habit I have, is I write things down. It's old school, right? It's so old school, but it's so important. I write things down. I have a notebook, right? I have tried every project management software on planet Earth, Asana, Trello, all of them, right? To keep up with, uh, with my to-do list and the things I need to do, but nothing works better than writing it down on a notepad, right? So the first thing is, 
writing down the things that you need to do each day to operate at peak performance. Okay. And let me explain what that means. What that means is, is that if I know there's something I, if I know that opening my second location of this, of this, this uh, coffee shop is the only, is, is that's the next step in my path to being a millionaire, right? I know that. Well, if I wake up in the morning with no list, to, no, nothing to do, right, to get started on that second location, you know what's going to happen? My business is going to eat me alive. That's what happens to entrepreneurs. It, it will eat you alive. You will have a million questions, a million busy work tasks that get thrown at you. And what happens is you prioritize those over the tasks that are going to help you actually reach your goal, which is that million dollars, right? Opening that second location is another step towards reaching that goal. If I have a notepad and I write down, here are the things that I'm going to do tomorrow, I always prioritize growth. So I'm prioritizing what's going to help me grow tomorrow. What can I do tomorrow that ensures that three or four days from now, I'm further along the path. I'm further down this path to my six, to the, to the level of success that I want to have, or at least getting the things done to reach that than I am today. And I stick to my notes. I know this sounds crazy, but I stick to my notes. And so therefore every day I'm growing every day. I'm adding new revenue to my business. Every day I'm adding something new to our business. That's helping me grow. When you're starting off and you've never started a business at all, and you've never done this, you've never done anything, right? The most important thing is that each day you're growing, right? You're not just fumbling around in the abyss, like on a hamster wheel, going nowhere. You need to be moving further down the path. Prioritization is how you do that, and organization is how you accomplish it. So writing things down, number one most important thing. Number two is I have a habit of connecting with intelligent, like-minded people. Be it a mastermind, a coaching group, um, a Facebook group, doesn't matter what it is, right? Surrounding yourself with like-minded people is gonna lift you up, right? We created a group called the Success Connection for my students. And here's what I love about it, is that that group, okay, together, they come together, they lift people up instead of bringing them down. And when you are trying to be successful, you have to have positive people in your life. I'll never forget this. When I started my first business, I was, I think it was like 23. I always tell the story and I never know how old I was. I'm too lazy, I guess, to go figure this out. <laughs> go searching back in the archives, if you will. Um, but I was like 23 years old. And my dad didn't know I started my business. He would have uh, been livid because he wanted me to be a doctor. And my mom didn't know I started my business. Actually, no one knew I started my business um, until it was months old, right? And I remember thinking to myself, like a lot of these people are discouraging me. You know, my parents discouraged me from doing anything other than going to be a doctor. That's, that was the thing, right? And so I found this message board online back in the day, 20, 20 years ago, um, or maybe it was 15, they didn't have Facebook groups and stuff like that. They're called forums, you know, message boards and forums. And I connected with other people who were crushing it. They were doing great. And what happened was I saw these people. I got to know these people. I realized they weren't like unicorns. They were just ordinary people that did the work. And it was very easy for me to put those pieces of the puzzle together. I'm like, this is an ordinary guy. He did this work. Now look at where he's at. That's where I want to be, right? And so by talking to him, by getting to know successful people and their journey, it let me, <clears throat> it let me see that it was not much different than my own. Their starting point wasn't a whole lot different than mine. Where they were today was only because they had chosen to go down the path and do the work. And it gave me confidence. It gave me belief that I was gonna be able to do this and that I just needed to put in the work. I needed to put in the time. I needed to put in the effort. And that belief, right, mixed with the support from those people really helped to propel me 
from a kid in a, in a <clears throat> you know in an apartment at college that's never made a dollar doing anything really to someone who made you know hundreds of thousands of dollars a month before I graduated from school right so this is an important 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 thing and I think the third one and and I always at least in my opinion this is this is something that that has always helped me is I make a habit out of wanting more right now I know that people say gosh shouldn't you just be satisfied you've made so much money shouldn't you just be satisfied my own mom has asked me this she's like son when is enough enough when is it enough is it the first private airplane that isn't enough so you you need it how how big does your airplane have to be before you're satisfied is it not the condo in florida you you have to have 10 now you have to have a house and you have to have that when is enough enough here's the thing you want to be a successful entrepreneur make this habit a habit you're never satisfied enough is never enough you always want more because if you stop wanting more you'll stop the, the drive to do the work will deplete and when that is diminished and depleted you don't do the work you don't get the results see what i'm saying you have to make a habit out of wanting more than what you have and it doesn't matter what level you get to you need to aspire to get to the next level and that's the only thing that's going to drive you and like fill your tank every day so that when you come to work and you have to put in all those long hours right building your business doing these things all this stuff you have the energy you have the drive to do it if you quit wanting more well then you might as well shut down right always make a habit out of wanting more than what you have so that you have the drive determination and this visualization of i need to achieve this and it's also helpful because as entrepreneurs we need to reach goals we are goal driven people right and we like to achieve you know achievements drive us it oftentimes stops being about the money right and it starts being about the success of it and the achievement right so you've got to constantly be winning so that you'll continue to feel that that urge to win more you know you hear people talk about tom brady and why did he play football till he's 44 years old the man loves to win it's that simple it wasn't about money it's hundreds of millions of dollars he loves to win. Entrepreneurs love to win. So we set milestones, right? What can we achieve? What can we get? What can we gain? How can we grow? And every time we hit one of those, we win, we get a little more energy and we keep moving, right? These are the habits that, <clears throat> that have made me a millionaire. They've made me a millionaire many times over. And they're the things that I think if you encompass into your daily life, and you put this and you make this part of the fabric of who you are and how you operate are going to help you achieve things that you probably never really thought were possible but truly are you're just unlocking them through thinking a little bit differently i hope this episode has helped you i hope you enjoyed it if you happen to be watching this on youtube please click that like button leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about it and of course if you're listening uh, to this on your favorite podcast app We'd love for you to give us a rating, and I look forward to having you join me again next Thursday with another episode of the Unlock Success Podcast.